Welcome back to the workshop. This is going to be the second installment in the uh, teacher's PLC resource. We're calling the playlist. And this is a good place to look for information, even if you're not a teacher. But my specific goal is to assist high school and college university teachers, professors, in using CCW in their classroom. This installation is going to be finding CCW, downloading it, finding information on the Rockwell Automation website, and some of the problems that you are likely to run into. And there are many points in the process where you can go more than one direction. Well, if you pick the wrong one, you don't know. It's not going to work out until you get all the way to the end of it. Then you got to figure out where to back up and start over. So we're going to have more than one session specifically on wrestling with CCW. So let's do this. Big time wrestling with connected components workbench. Nothing's ever smooth. I mean, it's not always smooth when you, you are blending together different manufacturers and different vendors. In this case, we've got Rockwell Automation and within Rockwell Automation, you have the groups that do, let's say, RS Logics 500 type things, you know, Micrologics. Then you have the RS Logic Studio 5000 folks. And then you got another entirely different group, Connected Components Workbench. And Connected Components Workbench, I use that phrase, but really we mean, in this case, the Micro 800 controllers, PanelView 800, and PowerFlex 525. Well, first we have to find Connected Components Workbench and download it. So go to your favorite search engine and type in Connected Components Workbench Download. You could type in CCW Download, but you might get Concealed Carry or some other thing that has nothing to do with what we're looking for. So just type the whole thing in and you're going to get three choices. Well, there will be more than three, but the first three are the ones that I want to examine. I'm going to pick the, the least likely first, and that's the middle one. And you notice that it is a subset of the first one. And notice that in the description it says, Downloads, Connected Components Workbench 12. Currently, the newest revision is 13, and I'll show you how that comes into play. But this is what came up today. And version 13 has been out for a long time. Let's pick that one. What we're going to get is this screen. However, when it came up, it came up and it said Connected Components Workbench 12. So I selected Show All Versions. If your screen doesn't show the latest version, then click on that drop-down arrow and pick Show All Versions. The third one here, Downloading Software from Rockwell Automation, this is where it takes you. Okay, when you look at this, this is not a bad starting place. It seems like all of them get you to where you want to go. This one's more about finding information than it is actually downloading the software. Now, if you happen to get back to this location because you need information, you can type whatever you want into the knowledge base right here. Click on search and it will bring up whatever it can find in the library. Let's keep moving here. Now let's pick the one that I normally pick, the top one. So when I clicked on it, this is what comes up. And this is normally where I go. Okay, I usually start at the top and then work my way down to what I want. When this does come up like this, you don't see what you want anywhere in here. Nowhere do you see the word download. So you got to scroll down. And as we scroll down, I just grabbed a few images. This is not a bad place to come back to later because you can look at the software tutorials. These are ones produced by Alan Bradley Rockwell Automation. And then you can go look at the entire microcontrol system here. We keep scrolling down and we get down to where we want to go. Don't jump on these two. Connected Components, Workbench, Software, Quick Tips. That's a good place to go back to once you get the software downloaded and you've got a foothold on this. For now, I wouldn't pick either one of these. Just go to Download the Standard Edition. And if you're after the developer's edition, uh, that's a little bit different story. But we're starting with the standard edition, which is free. F-R-E-E. -E, free. When you pick that, this is where it takes you. Now notice, we've been here before. Remember? And this is where I explained that it came up with 12, and I picked Show All Versions, and I see 13. 
So whether you got to this point from that other link or this link, the next step, which may not seem apparent, but this is what you do. You select files. When you select files, it's going to come up with a list. I already have checked off the first one because that's what we want. You can check them all off, but I, I hope you got something else to do for an hour or two while you're waiting for all this to download. The second most important one would probably be some of the manuals down at the bottom. Okay, so we pick Connected Components Workbench. We check the box. You see up there it says Downloads 1. If I checked off more boxes, that number would increment every time I picked one. So let's go click on Downloads. It comes up with what you picked. Now notice all the blank space in there. That's because it left room for all of those possible selections if you'd have picked more, they would have been listed right here. The only direction to go here is to clear your choices and start over, close the whole thing and quit and go home, or click on Download Now. When you click on Download Now, it's going to come up with a disclaimer. That's just standard. So we want to accept and download, or you can reject, quit, and go home. Okay, so we want to accept and download, and that's going to bring up this pop-up. Don't be jumpy here. Okay. <laughs> this is where people tend to want to go because that's the only thing that looks like download. And Rockwell Automation is not real good at, you know, explaining what's going on here. But just looking at this, you really don't see anything else to do but direct download. So people tend to click here. And that would get you to where you want to go. But I go down here because I know what that is down there. That is a managed download that has been downloaded to your computer. Okay, if you went to your computer right now to your downloads, you would find that file right there. The name of it changes every time you download it. So go to the one that with the orange arrow, click on that. This is going to pop up and away you go. Notice that we've got seven tenths of a percent completed. Remember, this is a screen capture. This progress bar continues to move says one hour and 38 minutes, 39 seconds remaining. Okay, that's just for that one file. So you can imagine if you selected all those other files that you would be waiting for a while. You might even give up. Your battery might go dead in your computer. Who knows? As you sit there and watch or go get a cup of coffee and come back, now there's less time remaining and you're at 17%. And then you go get a snack and you come back and you're at 13 minutes or you went out for lunch and you've got 13 minutes left and you're at 72 percent and now you're getting focused in here and say man i'm almost there okay but when you see this don't get jumpy notice it says zero minutes four seconds remaining if you hit cancel or something here the results might not be good so wait until you see this it says 100 percent completed but there are no messages click on open that opens the folder that it downloaded it into. You didn't pick none of this. It put it in your PC, local disk, in a folder called RA, Rockwell Automation. I whited out some other elements in this folder because they were from previous downloads for other Rockwell products. This is what you're looking for right here. And you're looking for the stack of books there. Okay, so you're going to click on that or double click. And you're going to see this. From this point forward, there's just way too many variations of what goes on. And it all depends on your computer's operating system, how it's configured. And I can't demonstrate them all. But well, let's click on Extract. And we'll continue a little further to see how it unfolds on this computer. Eventually, this is going to pop up on its own. Or if for some reason you're you know got happy fingers all over your keyboard and you're put stuff in the background and you lost it go to this pc local disk c r a and open it up and you'll find what you want right there notice that the archived or compressed folder that has the stack of books with the arrow on it and another folder by the same name and it's just looking like a folder that's where all the files are at we open that up and there's a whole bunch. Now, if you didn't know where you were going here, it could be a struggle. Notice that you have two folders right on the top. RS Linux Classic, Lite, and you have version 13 CCW. Well, you don't go up there. Go down to the bottom. Now, there's two down at the bottom that are relevant. The first one is Visual, Visual Studio Clean. Don't run that. But I just wanted you to 
see where it's at in case you need it later. You want to open up setup. Now this is true for any Rockwell software products. You're going to go to the folder once it's extracted. You're going to scroll down and look for the word setup, but you want to see the little the little icon with the computer on it and you want to see that it says application and it's not some little tiny thing like 3KB, 3,432 K. So it's fairly good size. You see right below it says setup exe. Don't run that. That's something completely different. So double click on setup and this comes up. So you're going to click on customize, click on customize. And now it's going to give you a list of things that you could download. I think that Factory Talk Activation Manager is yellowed out, if you like that, because I already have that loaded on my computer. And notice that RS Lynx Classic has, it's kind of grayed out in the sense that you can't change it. You can't change CCW13 or drives or down there controller micro 8 version 13. But the other ones, you could uncheck them. Leave them the way they are. If you want more stuff, come back later. Don't uh, convolute the process. We click on install. Once you do click on install, you are really into the depths of your computer, your computer's configuration and operating process. Now, if this does go south from this point, let's go back and look at some uh, places we've been for more information. This would be the main one. Specifically, we want Connected Components Workbench software. And when you click on that, it's going to come up with this. And notice that there's some choices here. Now, that blue arrow is pointing to something in the background. Ignore that. Download and installation. Read down through this. There's quite a bit here. Download the latest version. So you could have, from that earlier screen, clicked on Connected Components Workbench. You would have gone here and you could have clicked on this top link. And if you want an earlier version, like version 12, version 11, version 10, and so forth, there's your link, Product Compatibility and Download Center. Okay, once the files are downloaded, find the part1.exe DVD file and run it to extract both parts. From the extracted folder, run setup to install the software. By default, the download manager will put the files in. You see the link, C colon backslash RA backslash CCW. Okay, so there's good information right here, and you could have done the whole thing right from here by clicking on that top link. However, we went here to look for problems. So you look down through here, uh, cannot get CCW to be installed, troubleshooting debug logs. Another version of Microsoft Visual Studio has been detected. And then these are some older ones, version four, install fails, hangs up during Visual Studio components. That's a little bit more common. And you see some more link. The link that we showed you earlier from when we Googled it, not the main one that I use on top, but one of the others, they'll still get you there. Now let's look at some other choices here. Rockwell software install failing at Microsoft Visual Studio components. This is one that I got. I mean, recently installation failed, required components failed to install. Now this is just the top of the text. This scrolls down and scrolls down and scrolls down. It must have 10, 11, 12 solutions. So these are solutions for any Rockwell software install that fails with Visual Studio or Visual C++. Okay, not just CCW. You don't see CCW really anywhere. Oh yeah, you do. When trying to install RS Lynx Classic, Factory Top View Studio, Studio 5000, Studio 5000 emulate, versions 31, see what I'm saying? So CCW, uh, is, is mentioned in there. So you're going to have to scroll down and find your solution. Let me tell you what the solution was that I found. I did do VS Clean because I wasn't really sure if I needed to do it, but it didn't hurt anything. That didn't solve the problem. What did solve the problem, and I did also try to run it as administrator, is that I rebooted my computer and then I tried the installation again and it worked. By the way, somewhere in our discussion here, you will see a note about a patch from Microsoft. So there's some big things coming up where Microsoft is doing something and it's gonna cause a lot of grief for any kind of Rockwell software.
Next thing we want to talk about is what to buy. Next thing we want to talk about is the difference between the developer edition. There, You can do it in two ways. Now you're downloading the free version. The day comes you want to do the developer edition, which does give you some additional uh, functionality. Then you have a choice between what they call perpetual license with maintenance and subscription. I do the subscription and you see that you have more features with the subscription than you do with the perpetual with maintenance. So I spend right now, I guess, $171.77 per year, and that gives me this functionality. And I do have phone support 8 to 5. I typically don't need it because I'm usually finding what's wrong with their code faster than they do. But typically I will call and usually someone in Poland answers, which is interesting. Uh, I've spent a lot of time on the phone with those folks for 5,000 panel views, all kinds of stuff. Anyway, so notice I got that box checked. You can add after hours telephone technical support for another $44.07 a year. And if you want media, meaning if you want a disc mailed to you, you can spend $100. I think that's a no-brainer. Download it and burn it on a disc, right? Okay, so that's the developer edition. And then the uh, other choice with the developer edition is to go with the perpetual with maintenance, $435.58 one-time license. And then you can add 24 seven support for $42.95 a year. So that's kind of weird. You, you spend $435 up front and you've got it for life with that includes all the software updates. See right here, software updates. And there's no reinstatement fees if you're paying a subscription. 